Jen of Chalk It To Me With Jen, and I want to show you a simple project that I'm gonna make using this wooden hex shadow box. So I got this from Target. I think um, I lost the receipt, I'll be honest. I think it was about eight bucks. So um, it's, you know, light wood. It's a solid wood hex box. So what I wanna do is use our Be Humble and Kind um, transfer on this, like on the inside here, because I think this looks kind of like a honeycomb, which I think is super cool, but I want it to be yellow. So we are gonna try a thing together. I will disclose, personally, I've never done this before, but the internet says that I can and I'm super excited. So what this is here, this is yellow acrylic paint in a mixture of one third paint, one part paint to two parts water, roughly, which was done very unscientifically. I'm just mixing it up a little here. I put it, you know, just in a plastic cup and I'm gonna use this instead of using like wood stain, I wanna stain this yellow because I want it to be like a bee. So I'm gonna use it just like regular stain where you wipe the stain on and then wipe it off let's move you up just a little bit so you can see better. What do you think? Okay, you probably see that a little bit better now. Okay, so just like with any stain, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this mixture, I'm trying to put it where, there you go. I'm gonna take this mixture and just wipe it on the wood like that. And see, it's a nice bright yellow. So I'm gonna just wipe that on the wood and then I'm gonna come behind it with a paper towel and wipe it off because I don't want it to be painted solid yellow. You guys, this is awesome. So I'm gonna do this to the whole box and let it dry and then we can talk about putting our transfer on. should have gotten some extra paper towels as my paper towel is quite saturated here, but the acrylic wash for a stain worked and our wooden box is now a nice shade of yellow, except the, um, the wood grain is showing through. So now you just need to let this dry and once it's completely dry, we can chalk on okay, it. Okay, you guys, so while this was drying, I went and got my nails done, or did my nails rather, and now this is ready to go. So what I have in here is our humble and kind transfer. And I have used this before, so it's already cut up and fuzz. Let me pull this out for you. It's got this humble and kind. And I also want to use the B. Isn't that cool? Look at that B. So I think I just want to put these in here. Let's see. Let's see how I want to put these in here. So I want the humble and kind to be probably like down here. Make sure that it's straight. Yeah, I think that's straight. So that looks good. And like the B. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this in one in one fell swoop. Put the B like up. It doesn't need to be here. I don't want to get over the words. There. And in keeping with our B theme, I'm going to use our black chalkology paste. So this part is super simple, friends. All we do, where'd my squeegee go? Got my little squeegee. I cut it in half since I'm going to be in a little fiddly bit here so that I had more hand space. And I'm going to use black because that's like B, yellow and black. I'm so excited about the way this is turning out too. Okay. And again, all you do is put the paste on over all the open areas of the transfer and, you know, scrape off the excess. Super simple. So I'm really excited about this project too. And you'll notice in a number of my videos, I talk about sealing a project. While I do this, let's talk about that. So all I do if I want a project to be permanent and not to ever get like flaked off or anything is I get some like spray, you can get Rust-Oleum, Krylon, you know, whatever floats your boat at the hardware store. I have um, two kinds that I keep handy. I keep a, um, a matte and a gloss handy. So for a project like this to seal it, I would use a matte sealer because I really don't want the wood to be shiny. 
Um, but when I chalk on glass, like you can do that. I have a number of projects that I've done on things like mason jars. You would use the shiny. So, and it's just, um, you can just get the spray to lean over just a little bit to see here. Make sure I'm getting all the open areas. Um, super easy. You can like get it at any hardware store, whatever you like. I do recommend you make sure that your sealant when you buy it is non-yellowing because that makes it easier and just preserves your project nicely. Okay, so I think we got it all. I'm going to scrape my excess off back into my jar. See, it truly does not use a lot. And again, I told you I'd use these transfers before. Transfers are reusable 20 to 50 times as long as you take care of them. Are you guys ready to see what we made? Here we go. <gasps> Look at that. I love this stuff. Whoops, pick that up in a second. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look, be humble and kind. How cute is that? I love this. So this project was made using um, a wooden blank from Target. This was like $8. We stained it using acrylic paint and water. And then we chalked on it with black chalkology paste and the Be Humble and Kind transfer. You guys, if you enjoyed this product project and you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting stuff like this every week or so. Um, and I'd love to have you. Um, also, you can follow the link in the description if you'd like to buy some of these products, the squeegees, pastes, transfers, and other great projects products made by Chalk Couture. You can shop my link that is in the description as well. For now, thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you be humble and kind. Bye, guys.